Hello and a very warm welcome to you. Forced marriage, deprivation of education and strangling of freedoms. This is the situation women in Afghanistan are facing as the Taliban wage a vicious campaign against them. That's the conclusion of a report released by Amnesty International to mark one year since the withdrawal of American troops. To understand exactly what is happening in the country, I'm pleased to welcome Mrs. Habiba Sarabi, the former Afghan Minister for Women's Affairs and the laureate of the Simon Weil Award here in France. Mrs. Sarabi, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Now, before we address the current situation regarding Afghan women, could you first of all describe to us what the general situation is like in Afghanistan today? Thank you very much for having me with you. Uh, unfortunately, today Afghanistan's situation is not good. So that uh, the Taliban took power by force. It's not by deal. It was just by force. That's why they are uh, uh, committing every uh, single of the life or they, they are not a kind of democrat, the bureaucrat people. They are just applying their uh, order by force, forcing uh, force to the people to, uh, to ob obey them. And uh, people are suffering from different uh, uh, different angle of the life. They, there is not a social uh, service. Uh, there is not a, a good uh, um, education system. There is not a good uh, health system. And uh, generally, uh, people are suffering from uh, from hunger. So, but they are uh, they are uh, uh, applying a kind of dictatorship uh, um, uh, power. So this is uh, the situation, and people, when they are, they want to resist or to, to have a voice, including men and women, they are just uh, forcing them, uh, arresting them, torturing them. So uh, this is the general situation, and of course, poverty and hunger is an, another big problem. What do you mean when you say torture? Uh, when they arrest, them, uh, for example, when the people want to raise their voice against all these uh, um, uh, injustice and, and all these forces, uh, they are arresting people. They, when they put to the prison, they are torturing them. So many people, uh, they cannot tell, they, I mean, there is uh, actually no freedom for media. Uh, so whenever they are putting some their voice through the social media, uh, uh, the Taliban uh, power torturing them and, and, and punishing them in different way. So this is uh, something that uh, people, when they are uh, arresting uh, with Taliban, they are facing with that. According to reports coming out of the country, women are the first victims of the Taliban's rule. So what exactly has changed? Unfortunately, uh, many things change in the negative way. Uh, within 20 years, we have achieved a lot. We had uh, we we had girls going to school, and uh, more than 40 percent of of uh, uh, school enrollment uh, were girls. Uh, women uh, girls could go to the higher education. Women were in the politics and the and the parliament. When women were a part of the civil servant and different and, and the cabinet level in every sector of the life. But unfortunately, when Taliban took power, they just uh, pushed back all women from uh, all kind of, of uh, all part of the life. And uh, first of, of on the first thing that they uh, had, it, they, they closed the, uh, the schools. And uh, after a lot of lobbying and, and demonstration for, uh, uh, from women's side, they just opened the school from uh, grade one to up to grade uh, six. And after grade six, uh, uh, girls are not allowed to school and they are not allowed to go for higher education. So they are not uh, allowed to go to, uh, uh, to work. Uh, their job uh, has been taken from them. Um, uh, for example, recently report shows that Ministry of Finance announced to the, uh, announced to the uh, female uh, employee that they they had to stay at home uh, and they have to, uh, they can introduce uh, uh, some male member to the uh, ministry uh, while there are women that they are helping the family and they have the, they are the only incomer uh, 
they are the only person that they have income to their family. The education of women in schools and universities is the most complex subject in Afghanistan. Did you reach out to UNESCO to help give women the possibility of getting an education? There was a lot of uh, um, uh, application, not only application because they don't uh, they don't care about application, but women uh, and girls did demonstration, and the the and the people the women that they are in a, in exile, for example, and the uh, prominent women that they had a work in inside Afghanistan, and, but now they are in exile. And we also have a kind of network in, in different uh, country, in different uh, region. So women uh, in exile also had a lot of uh, application and applied for that and, and even applied for the international community, for UN, for the EU, and uh, had the device uh, for the reopening the school. But uh, Taliban uh, don't uh, care about that and uh, not uh, ready to, uh, to listen to the voice of women. The Taliban promised to preserve women's rights before reneging on their pledge. Is there anyone who can make things right, or do you just accept the reality? There are some, some country, of course, uh, inside the country, it's very difficult to, uh, uh, to talk with them, to sit with them. And uh, a few number, uh, maybe uh, three, four people. They are uh, they are at the uh, um, at their um, uh, order that at least they can hear. But they are not allow women to 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 go there and to talk with them. Uh, but uh, uh, we request from international community and mostly women. Uh, or, or raising their voice from international community in the Muslim, the Islamic country, that they can put pressure to Taliban that uh, to uh, accept not only uh, the um, rights of education, but of course the basic rights for women and human rights. This is something that uh, everybody are suffering in this situation. So, uh, but uh, they are not the people to listen. This is uh, unfortunate. That's what Turkey called for. It appealed to the Taliban to let women go to school. But around 45% of the population in Afghanistan is under 15 years old. What's the situation this age group is facing? Uh, not only Turkey, but different country. Different country uh, wanted uh, rec uh, from Taliban to let girls going to school. I think more Islamic country in Gulf country uh, should uh, should request or, or talk with Taliban or put pressure to them to do that. Uh, of course, the majority of uh, I mean uh, uh, the, our population are young people under the age of, of uh, uh, 30. Uh, so this is uh, uh, this is the asset of the of the country, and uh, women are the asset of the country. Uh, unfortunately, they pushed back for all uh, um, part of of the uh, society. If the uh, society or a country cannot use this asset for the development, of course, the economy and development of the country will be collapsed. That's why they. Now, uh, in, in, in different, uh, in different uh, uh, sector, uh, in development sector, Afghanistan has failed. Uh, so because they are uh, pushing back all the asset of the, of the country, which, which is women and the young generation. Do you think that the international community or the United States has abandoned Afghanistan, leaving you in the hands of the Taliban? Uh, unfortunately, in my point of view, uh, international community on the top, US and NATO, had a mistake in, in Afghanistan. And uh, without any plan, they, they withdraw from Afghanistan and put uh, everything to the hand of Taliban. Now they have to fix it. This is responsibility. 
the, their responsibility and it's a global responsibility we are human being uh, so afghan are human being why we are we, we deserve to have a better life this is more than 40 years that we are suffering from war and in conflict and every day is a bloodshed in afghanistan why this something like that so this is we are we are a part of international community and international community should take responsibility for the uh, for the uh, afghan people and afghan women particularly mm -hmm. uh, and finally how do you envision the future for afghan women something which is uh, i am very proud of that and i am confident on that that afghan women are very brave they are very, now they have got a lot of education and awareness within this 20 years so they are always um, they are always try to have their voice they are very strong uh, so i'm sure that they will continue their struggle their fighting and uh, if they can continue their fighting of course, the future will be um, much more better for them and for their children. Habiba Sarabi, thank you very much for speaking to us. And to our viewers, thanks for watching. This is France 24. Your needs are changing, and so is France24.com. With articles, reports, the latest international news, all our programs available on replay, together with live broadcasting 24-7. Intuitive, fast, and available in four languages. France24.com. Liberté, égalité, actualité.